Um, we have a lovely we have a lovely property uh, to share with you here, uh, Carl, haven't we? Um, mm -hmm. This is a beauty in Balang, and this is uh, a listing on Idealista, the two hundred fifty thousand euro one I mentioned. Tell us about Balang, because this is where the president of Portugal lives, of course, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a popular tourist spot. I mean you, you you're right on the water. You've got the president's palace there. There's um, the Tower of Belém, um, the botanical gardens, uh, the famous Pastéis de Belém, um, yeah. cake shop, shall we call it? It's a bit more than a cake shop, really. Uh, I've been yes. there many times myself. Uh, yeah, and this apartment is literally just a few minutes from that. It's it's around the corner from the president's palace, so uh, you, know, you, can, you can count him as one of your neighbours. Um, it's yeah. in a beautiful spot. It's very quiet. Um, great views from the uh, front. Uh, there's like a, there's a there's a school there, which is just a classic sort of villa style, you know, painted beautifully. Um, just a really nice place to live. Um, mm. Five minutes from the train station to take you into central Lisbon. Um, yeah, and further up that street there is ample parking too. So it's it's a great place. Uh, refurbished in 2017. You know, fully. Fully redone inside, you know, flooring, um, walls, electricals, everything. It's a, it's a really sweet little place. Um, great if you want to live solo or maybe for a, for a couple who are looking to downsize, you know, and yeah. live a bit of a simple life kind of thing. It, it's, I, I yeah, love it's it. It's done really well. Gorgeous. Yeah. The photos, the yeah, the photos are great. so cheap for Lisbon and Balam. Isn't it? That's a great deal. And turnkey. Yeah. You, you don't get many places that... At that kind of price point that that look like that are in such a, a fantastic area you know i mean i i personally could could live there quite easily you know everything yeah. free you know and it, it, it is the tall one it's the tall one we're looking at there isn't it it is yeah the tall one. It's, it's the, I, I love this. the top level or one down from the top no one down one down wow nice yeah. i love it and i love look at this oh, picture so this. cute so it's the look. one with the juliet balconies yeah it is. Yeah. And oh, you've got your cool. own security as well. Look, is she the concierge looking out the window there? Uh, unofficially. That's his yeah. sign. Oh. Yeah, she's no, still there. there. There's a lady looking out the window <laughs> on, the, on the ground floor. There, I, I thought it looks like a sign. Maybe it's a sign. No, I don't. I think it's a person. I do. No, it's, it's, a little, it's a little old lady. She's been there for a long, long time. Oh, so you wow. have your, you have you have your own CCTV system basically. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No one's getting by. But oh, yeah, right. look, it's it's a great place to live. It's a quiet street. Um, like I say, you've got those great views and you know, it, great access into central Lisbon. You know, it is the greater Lisbon area, but Belém, wow. I mean, it's got lots of open green spaces too. You've got the the waterfront there if you want to just go for a stroll. I mean, we do actually go there fairly regularly because it's just an easy day out for the kids. Pull up, go and get a go and get a sandwich and a and a, and a pastry, or, you know, a cake, whatever they want. Um, and then take a walk along the uh, the waterfront. You've got the museums there. Um, there's, there's just loads to do. It's a great place to live. Oh yeah, I love it. And the Pastel de Nada, the hot Pastel de Nada, right oh, from <laughs> yeah, Pastel de Belém is, is is nearby, walking distance. Yeah. And what I love about it, you've got a school opposite. And I've lived lived near a school. The the, the sound of, of the playground when when you've got your windows open uh, in the summertime is absolutely wonderful. Kids run about and screaming. Maybe that isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I loved it when I sat when I um lived opposite a school. Just uh, the the vibe. Well, it gives a lot of energy, I think, when you've got kids yeah. running around. You know? Oh, it's fantastic, and, and it's it's like it's um. It, it, this looks like an illustration, doesn't it? More than a photograph. If you, it does. If you were, it looks fake. If, it's, it's, so it's really picture postcard. You know, houses of different scales and sizes and colours going down the street. This is fantastic. Um, well, you know, it's something to say about that. Yeah. Carl used a professional photographer. A yes. Lot of you look online and you go, ah, what are you doing? These are beautiful shots. A lot of times this wouldn't even be highlighted. You wouldn't even see this gorgeous staircase and entryway. They might yeah. just show like, a stair. Yeah, we, we, we can't list unless it's, we, we have a, an in-house photographer. He's it's very, right. very good. You know, oh, we use him for, obviously for the photography video and drone footage too. So depending on where the place is, obviously this doesn't really warrant a drone, but yeah, everything's got that, to have. That, that's part of the service, you know. But that photograph there that you remark upon, Veronica, Isn't is the one that could, that could sell the house, couldn't it? Because to yeah. me, when you're yeah. in Lisbon and you, and you step in, you can imagine yourself stepping in through to that hallway with the checkerboard uh, tiling and the and the scrubbed wooden floors there, Beautiful. and it'd be like this is our house in Lisbon. I'm feeling it. I'm walking into the tiles. Very I've got the, yeah, 
nice. got the floorboards there. It's fantastic. Antonio knows it. Uh, been there, been there tens of times. Fantastic. And a certain ladies here as well, uh, women who walk podcasts, saying, "Isn't that gorgeous?" She may or may not have a connection to this property. Isn't that gorgeous? The little ballet apartment. Thanks for featuring Carl and Carl. Brilliant. Um, Darren, however. <laughs> My eyes fell out. One bedroom. Right? 250 well, is a steal. And I mean, that is, it's, it's I'm like, sure it'll be it's, gone today, Carl. Yeah, it's it a very good now. price. It <laughs> be now, can it? Oh, superb. Okay. Well, we're coming up to 10 o'clock. Thank you so much. Lovely to, to uh, uh, inspire people with a bit of property there. And uh, we are, of course, Good Morning Portugal. On the recent Spain Speaks, we were described as that Portuguese show that just sells expensive property to rich people. So there you go, right there. Um, <laughs> they must have seen us on the third Thursday of the month, right, when they tuned in. Um, I did Is try. Is it say, expensive? That's a well, company. right, exactly. Yeah, no, we do. We, I mean, we do. We do put some nothing in California for that. Like you would have a well little. Said. You can't yeah. even get a crack house for that. That's why I won't live there, frankly. They keep inviting me, but I will not be going to Hollywood if it, if it stays that expensive. <laughs> okay. Um, excellent advice this morning. Use professionals. Don't have your NIF uh, taken hostage. Can I have a, any any more from you this morning? Let's start with you, Veronica. Uh, great stuff. And be careful of the gossip and the rumor mongering on social media. Have you got anything else for us this morning? Oh, we... you summed it up so well. I think that's the big message. Use a professional. If you're going to be a flipper or something else, have a business plan. But when this is your home, set up a proper plan, have your reserves, do everything you need to do. Really think about this. Don't think I'm going to buy and sell it. You know, really do your planning to get in the right location. See Carl tomorrow, right? Wait, that's tonight. Tonight at night. Yo, um, I don't know. Right I'm place. sorry. But yes. Go, go to my. Go I to don't my... know my time tomorrow. I got to look that up today. That's after the show. I got to look up what I have on tomorrow. So, I mean, everything you've said, um, if you are looking at this as a flipping opportunity or rental or something, do a full business plan. It's not for um, those that are professionals. Like your, your home is your home. You plan to live in it for that 10 year cycle and it'll always do this, but in time it does that. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Veronica. Excellent stuff. I'm thinking flipping for a Mancunian. That could be your book about real estate, flipping good real estate, couldn't it? Oh, yeah, my. it could. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, I didn't get you for a second there. Then it's gone on. Yeah. Yeah, the penny really drops. Good. Um, but your, your closing thoughts today, Carl. Thanks for being here. Well, just a second, what Veronica said there, you know, definitely do your you, you, uh, business plan. If you, if you were actually thinking about flipping a place, then just be aware of the different tax rules. Um, it, yes. It's not the UK, it's not the States, you know, there, there are different tax implications. And I think actually flipping is not, it's not as easy here as it is in the UK and all that. And I think probably that goes for the States as well. Um, you know, where the, the, the tax rules are more favourable if you want to do that. I did some of that myself in the UK um, and it's quite different here. So do your research. And again, just to um, repeat, do hire a professional for whatever you're trying to do. I always say this to people, to my clients, you know, don't be scared of spending a few hundred euros, whether it's on an estate agent or anything like that, but whatever you're doing, it can save you a fortune in the long term. It really can. Just getting some good advice from somebody who knows what they're talking about could save you thousands so you know don't be afraid to do that very good um we will um take this question in the iberian fm phone thank you both for being here really great uh paul's asking define a professional i will um after 10 o'clock uh, that house that you're listing there some 400 meters away from the palacio de balain the portuguese president's official residence there um and what i'll be looking at on the iberian fm phone in is the Portugal resident headline, Portugal basks in economic good news, but can it last? And also the former Val de Lobo owner, Sander van Gelder, dies 85 years of age, uh, a legendary person down there on the Algarve. So we'll have a look at that obituary as well, as well as the Algarve nominated for best beach destination. Thank you so much, both of you. We can have a dance now and look forward to seeing you again next month. Take care. Bye for now and have Thank a great you. day. Ciao. ciao. You too. Bye now. Oh, that was meant to be applause, not, not a bleep. There we go. Way. 